It's definitely not looking like Shane or Dr. Disrespect are going to get through this one. And even though I'm not a big fan of Shane, I am of Disrespect. It's crazy that two creators are getting taken down so close to each other. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm Trey Loke back to a brand new video. And we're going to start this video off with Shane talking about what he did because I want to talk mostly about Dr. Disrespect. Over the last week, Shane has been getting absolutely annihilated. I mean, this man has, I, I don't even know how he's going to recover. Videos have been coming out of him like touching people and stuff, underage girls, and bo like, just weird ass stuff stuff that like just isn't okay pretty pretty standard is not okay right pretending to jack off the girls whatever point is is that it's out there now right he then released a video called taking accountability where he believes that he apologized and said you know he has depression and anxiety and most of his comments said that that's not even a reason for any of these things which is absolutely right and it doesn't feel like everyone's on the side and it's it's not it's not working for him right i think his apology is accepted but it's not forgiven by the community i mean some of the things he's done are just even when he's like 25 which is still old enough to be able to understand what you're doing it's just not okay and I don't think this is ever going to go away. And he said he's now taking a break from YouTube, but I think that break is going to be a lot longer in hindsight. I feel bad. I feel like he's had so much stuff happen in the past, but I mean, some of this stuff you, you can't look away from. I mean, this is career ending and he understands that and he'll have to deal with the consequences accordingly. I feel like his apology is genuine and that he is truly sorry. I don't think he's lying or anything, but some of the podcasts he's done, I'm not going to show you footage because it's, it's honestly terrible. It's honestly, I've never, I never thought he could be capable of anything like that shit, but I mean, clearly we see him from a different perspective now let's hop into dr disrespect this is what i really want to talk about if you guys don't know dr disrespect was just permaban from twitch and nobody really knows why dr disrespect has gotten in trouble with twitch before and i really didn't think it was that serious at the start until i saw this clip all righty then okay let's see what map we get next i didn't really get to see you up there were you on the top of the statue i was on top of the night oh wow that's crazy right. oh the backyard wow. the backyard Oh, okay. Okay, who's it? I appreciate who's everyone watching today. Who's it in the backyard? Who is going to be looking? We'll, we'll get th really, like said, we really know some of the yeah, we'll get through this champions club uh, yeah, I, I know it's a tough to, uh, see disrespect and distress like that bro like him genuinely scared as fucking mind I mean, you, you you can like see without even seeing his eyes his life like flash before his eyes like i've never seen anything like this from a screamer he must have gotten a notification somewhere and then whatever it said something bad i guess i mean it 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 scared him he even mentions you know we're gonna get through this uh, i mean he knows that he's about to get banned for sure at this point in time he knows that he wants to stay on a little bit longer and eventually shortly after this he gets banned almost minutes after it's sad to see him go but we have no idea what happened right after that the gaming and streaming community all wanted to figure out what happened to disrespect all we know at this point is it's not a copyright issue until we got a response from disrespect himself he basically said he knows why it happened firm handshakes to everyone who was supporting him during this difficult time it sounds like he's not really trying to fight back though it doesn't sound like he is really uh, thinking it's incorrect or perhaps the band's for a wrong reason like it seems like he's come to terms with that this is over that's all we've gotten from him so far and we have nothing else but that we are waiting for more information from twitch or anyone to figure out what happened we hope that we can get disrespect back but it's not looking too likely as of now it blows my mind that we lost two major content creators in like less than a week and we're probably going to lose like at least another dozen because of all these me too movements and some of them are likely to be true it's looking like the screaming game is definitely going to be interesting from now on we don't know who we're going to see anymore especially because ninja and shroud are already free agents let's see what twitch does from here Overall, I'd say for both Shane and Disrespect that it's probably going to change both of their lives to an extent that they might be on completely different platforms, they might work in different areas, or they might just not be coming back at all. And we're going to have to be ready for anything that they choose to do. I want to make this video because I want to stay updated on what happens to Dr. Disrespect because I find it interesting that one of my favorite streamers is getting taken down so soon in his career and I really don't want it to happen. So I'll make sure everyone's updated on it. Without further ado, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And tell me what you think of Disrespect and Shane's ending. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.